What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to talk about the iPhone 10 and including the fact that companies like Samsung are actually providing the hardware for Apple to manufacture their phones. So Samsung and LG provide the batteries for the iPhone 10, but Samsung is also providing the chips including memory and of course the display to the phone. So really what you're getting with an iPhone 10, you're getting a Samsung experience whether you realize it or not. And this has been going on for a while now and that's because Samsung manufactures a lot of technology for smartphones and also other products out there, but specifically for smartphones, a company like Apple, they just can't manufacture the phones without working with other companies so they can produce the iPhone. And what's interesting to me is that when people compare the phones, even I compare the Galaxy Note 8 versus the iPhone 10, I think both phones are fantastic, but I also realize that Samsung is providing a lot of that technology to Apple so they can manufacture the iPhone 10. And as far as the iPhone 10, I think it's an impressive phone, but if you're talking about the speed of the phone, that phone is not going to be that fast without Samsung technology. And that's just a fact. So if anyone has a preference, whether it's Apple or Samsung, and you choose to prefer one phone or the other, you have to realize why I say Samsung is influencing the industry or even leading the industry. You know, to argue about specific phones, whether you like the display or not, or you think a phone design is awful or whatever, it's much different discussion when we're talking about the companies that are leading the industry and producing that technology. Because they are very impressive. Your company is going to be even more successful with working with a company like Apple because Apple has a lot of fans, they have a lot of brand loyalty. At the same time though, your technology is being used by those phones and not too many people know about it. And the reason why is because Apple does not talk about this on their website. Whenever you see some kind of event from Apple, usually they're going to talk about their phones in such a way where they say they're responsible for all the great things with the phone. And this has to do with them saying to Samsung, you know, we're going to be advertising our products like this and you can't go out there and say that you're manufacturing all the hardware for our phone. So that's why you don't see Samsung out there even saying that in their own advertisements. But for those of us that are interested with how these phones work and who's actually manufacturing the products and who's also manufacturing the hardware if that company can't manufacture their own phone, it gets incredibly interesting because a company like Apple, you know, they talk about the magic with their phone. Yes, there's a lot of magic with the phone. But there's also a lot of hardware from Samsung that creates that magic, basically. And it's no offense to Apple. I think it's actually great. I talked about this before in other videos. If you ever watch any of my other videos, when I started talking about Samsung manufacturing hardware for Apple, a lot of people got annoyed because when they get an Apple product, especially an iPhone, they just think it's an Apple iPhone. Really, you see the event, Apple says how wonderful it is. You go to an Apple store, there's no place on the website where it says Samsung is responsible. And even if you call Apple, some people might explain to you the fact that Samsung manufactures that hardware. But more often than not, they're not really supposed to even say that much. Very interesting with the iPhone 10. I actually think it's an impressive phone, besides the fact that a portion of the screen is missing. Compared to the Galaxy Note 8, they're manufacturing all the hardware for their own phones. So when you purchase a Samsung phone, you are getting a Samsung experience. Now at the same time, people might say, you know what, Apple designs the hardware and they're telling Samsung how they want it manufactured. To a point, there's hardware in the phone that Samsung just manufactures and Apple has absolutely nothing to do with it because Apple doesn't have the capabilities to even design that. So if we talk about something like a battery, Apple's not designed the battery. It's Samsung who manufactures and designs the battery and it's Apple saying we would like that battery. Same situation with LG because LG also manufactures batteries for the iPhone 10. But this is why I laugh at some of the reviews for these phones because when someone says, hey, the Galaxy Note 8 is an impressive phone, but that iPhone 10 is really fast. It's much faster than any other phone. Yes, it's a very fast phone, but it also uses hardware from other manufacturers and that's why it's that fast. And I think it's a responsibility when someone reviews the phone. You guys should be really interested in the hardware because that's what makes the phone what it is. And actually, I suggested with Apple, you know, Apple, I'm sure, is just going to do whatever they want. But if they manufacture their own hardware, they wouldn't be in these situations where they're rushing the manufacturing, say, for the iPhone 10, and they can actually make the changes that they want to their phone. Right now, yes, they can select the hardware, but if there needs to be a change to the phone, they can't just stop manufacturing the phone, especially if you get closer to the holidays or even to an event where Samsung announces their phone. So this is all about who can manufacture the best phone and the quickest, really, because every year there's new phones available. If you notice with Samsung, they announce their phones throughout the year. You know, it doesn't mean you just can get a couple of phones. You could get more from Samsung because they're actually manufacturing the hardware for their own phones. So in comparison, I think both phones are interesting and they're both fantastic in their own ways. Although again, I have an issue with the iPhone 10 screen because it's not complete screen. But besides that, you're getting very impressive hardware with the iPhone 10. And that's because Apple works with quality manufacturers that provides them the hardware for that phone. But I would like to know what you guys think about all of this. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the iPhone 10. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.